Welcome to Art Starts Explores, our province of play. Are you ready to get creative with us this week? Let's review our three basic rules that guide us through our exploration and play. Rule one is respect. We want to respect ourselves, anyone we're making with, our tools and making space, and the lands and waterways where we're making. How can you practice respect when you explore, play, and make? Rule two is no expectations. If we're not expecting something to turn out good or bad, we're open to it going in a whole bunch of different ways. And that means that all respectful, creative explorations are great, regardless of what it ends up looking like. Try to do things you've never tried before and ask yourself, what will happen if I... Rule number three is nothing is for keeps. Everything we make together is a test, or a draft, or creative playtime. We're just trying things out. What can you make or try today and then take apart or recycle? What can we learn by making and not keeping? These are our three rules for when we explore together every week. Okay, what will we explore together this week? Hello, welcome to Art Starts Explores. My name is Payson. I'm the public program assistant at Art Starts in Schools. This month, we are exploring the theme contrast. My workstation today only has dim light because we're going to explore shadow. On Wednesday, our gallery team visited the exhibition called Mere Phantoms, Shadows Without Borders at Surrey Art Gallery. It's an interactive exhibition that allows audience to play with light and shadow to explore the relationship among place, memory, and people. It has been displayed in Athens and Istanbul. It's also a great show for children and families. I highly recommend if you go to Surrey. Inspired by the exhibition, Today, I would like to explore shadow and to see if we can create our own shadow play. The materials we have today are paper, scissors, glue stick, transparent container, for example, this glass jar, flashlight, and small objects for shadow play, such as the things here I grabbed from my kitchen. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing I would like to do is to show you how light and shadow can create contrast and um, what interesting things might happen by using um, flashlight and um, the small objects I collected from my kitchen. Yeah. So um, now I'm gonna turn on the flashlight. See? I'm showing from different angle of it and see it looks like a planet right okay and then the next thing I got a star Because these two uh, are the same, I'm gonna bend one of it to make it look a bit different. 
and yeah, I'm gonna hold it like this, and then oh, maybe I can do this. Now I'm gonna turn on my flashlight again. See? It looks like a universe. And when I'm moving the flashlight, you can see the shadow is moving with me as well. And sometimes they overlay on each other. Look. And here on the right. Okay, so this is the first activity. The first thing I wanted to show you. Okay, I'm gonna put them aside. Next, I would like to create my own shadow play. So here I have a glass container. It's transparent, as you can see. Um, yeah, so for you, you don't have to um, use a glass container or a glass bottle. As long as it's transparent, it's totally okay. And yeah, so before I start, um, actually don't have a solid idea, like a certain idea about what kind of um, thing I'm going to create. So I think it's better for me to use the flashlight looking at the glass container I just grabbed. Now, when looking at this glass container with the flashlight, I feel, wow, I'm in a tunnel. What if I move it a little bit this way? See, it looks like a tunnel for me. And yes, and previously we were using this object and they look like a universe right so maybe I can create like a tunnel in the universe okay that's good so let's get started First, I have some paper prepared and I'm gonna create some figures. Okay. Uh, I don't want them to be too big. Maybe I can have a car. Space car, so I don't need wheels. Maybe a spaceship. And what else? Maybe two of them. 
bigger one. Maybe this one can have a window. Maybe a ship. very simple way um, because we're gonna focus on the shadow of them so we don't need much we don't need many details on them uh, one more let me think Thank 
Now I need to add more elements to this tunnel in the universe. So yeah, some stars. Maybe a different type of stars so not this but this There's a sticker here, um, but I can think of this as a planet. So maybe I can add a ring to it. Uh, okay, so. stars One more planet medium size
So now I'm gonna stick them to my glass container. Okay. See, I want to confirm the position of each object. Now I think I need to put it upside down and close to the lower part of the container, like here. Okay, let's do it.
Let's have a look. Look. Wow. Spaceship. The car, planets and stars. Yeah. Okay. So this is the shadow work or shadow play I created. How's yours? I hope you enjoyed this. And now I'm gonna play a little bit longer because I really enjoy the movement. Look. When I'm moving the flashlights, see how they move with me. They become smaller, getting closer, closer, bigger, bigger. Okay, see? I'm really enjoying the movement. And at the same time, seeing these shadows. Okay, yeah, that's it. That's for today. I'm gonna turn the light off. Okay. So, yes, I really hope you liked it. And now I'm gonna clean. You can clean your table along with me. Thanks for watching and I'm looking forward to see you next time. Bye!